Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about using extends in SCSS. Extending allows you to take all of the attributes from a specific CSS class and use them in another CSS class. If you're familiar with mixins in SCSS, these are kind of similar conceptually to mixins, um, but there's just a little difference between the two of them. So I'm gonna to demonstrate to you what extends can do. I wanna show you over here in my, tech, in my browser, I have three paragraphs. One is for a message, one is for a warning, and one is for an error. And I wanna show you how we can use extends to create styling for all three of these. So the first thing I wanna do is create a class, and I'm just gonna call it message. And inside of this message, we're just gonna give this some properties. So we'll give this a font size, um, let's say 20 pixels and we'll give it a border, one pixel solid black. And so now we have this message class drawn out and you'll see that I've attached this message class onto this paragraph over here. So this paragraph is now gonna change to use this message class. But in the case of this file, I want the warning and the error messages to inherit all of the attributes from this message class. And so I can use extends to be able to do something like that. So I can come down here and we'll make a warning class. And in here, I just wanna inherit or I want to extend all of the attributes from that message class. So I can just say extend and I can just type the name of the class, so dot message. And now what this will do is it'll give me all of the functionality or all the attributes from this message. And I can also add in some other stuff. So for example, I might wanna change the color to yellow. And so now when I refresh the page over here, you'll notice that this warning is using all the same properties as message, but we have this yellow text, right? I can do the same thing with error. So error is actually gonna be exactly the same as warning, except we're gonna change the color to red. So over here, we can make it red. And so now we have three distinct things here, right? We have a message, a warning, and an error, and they're all inheriting, or they all, they're all extending the attributes from this base class, which is message. And so this is, you know, sort of how you can use extend in order to extend attributes from a specific CSS class, or you could also make this uh, an ID it doesn't really matter, it can be a class or an ID. Now, again, if you're familiar with mixins and SCSS, extends are essentially doing the same thing. They're allowing you to take code from a specific block and insert it into other blocks. But some of the main differences, and really I think the core main difference is that when you're using extends, you can extend an actual CSS class. So I'm actually using this CSS class on one of my HTML attributes, like I'm calling this. If I was to define a mixin called message, then I wouldn't be able to use the code or the styling that's inside of here on my HTML. So that's sort of the core difference between uh, extends and mixins, if you're interested in that. Um, and also with mixins, you can pass in different parameters or, or values. So that's the basics of extends. Uh, you also hear people call this inheritance. It's basically the same thing. We're using extend and inheritance interchangeably in this context. So yeah, use those and you can extend the functionality of specific CSS attributes. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.